Hey everyone, it's Jessica, flight attendant flipper. For those who are new to my channel, welcome. I am a full-time flight attendant and part-time reseller, which means I go thrifting and then I resell them on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop, just to make a little side income. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome back. Today we are going over a thrift haul I had yesterday and you can see some of the things that are next to me already. This is the list of everything I got. There was a big sale. There was 50% off plus then another 20% off. So I'm gonna show you everything I got and at the end I'm gonna tell you how much it was and then you let me know what you think and if I got a good deal. I think I did. As you can see, I am lounging in my Savage Fenty onesie and it's super comfy. This is part of the fall that I really like is just being at home comfortable in my PJs, so to speak. Okay, so just the ones that are around me, these are, um, these are some house slippers. I actually may keep them for myself because I do need house slippers. I forgot. Oh, these are Manitobas. So Manitobas actually resell for quite a bit. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them, but I'm tempted. Anyway, they're in really good condition. If you see the, the beads are all there, there's no wear. So they've never been worn, they're super nice. They're probably someone's Christmas present that they just never wore. And then here is a Hollister moto jacket. I'm not sure if it's real leather, I haven't checked, but if you see, it's like got that pebbled look. Really, really nice. It is a size extra small. Um, but if it's me and I'm not an extra small, I'm like a small medium depending on the cut. So this is a really good find. This I got for myself because sometimes as you go to events where I wear a dress and it's not like full on coat weather, but you want to have a little like a shrug or something. I really liked the jewel accent, the button, the closure rather. So I got that for myself. Here's something else I got for myself, a scarf, but look how colorful it is. So the winter for me is kind of depressing, so I like to have bright colors. I just really like this scarf. It was cute, it was soft, and it was 50% off plus 20% off, so it was really, really cheap. I think that makes it like a dollar eighty. So I mean, come on. I don't know the brand, I don't care, but it does feel like it's good quality, so I'm not really sure who it is. If you've ever seen this, let me know if you know what brand this is. And then I don't usually go through the bag section because I feel like it's super picked over usually, but I saw this and mm, you can still smell the leather. It is like new. There's no stains on the bottom. There's no scratches and you know suede kind of marks up pretty easily. The interior is immaculate. I don't know why no one didn't get this because it is Sundance. And I was looking up comps and I didn't see this exact bag, but I really didn't look for a long period of time, but their bags, their leather bags are going anywhere from 40 to 140. I feel like I'd probably get right around 80 or so for this because it's suede and it smells still like leather and there's, it's like in immaculate condition. So that was a definite pickup. Okay, these boots, these are knee-high boots. The calf is wide, which is good because I know a lot of my friends um, have like issues with knee-high boots because the calves are so narrow usually. And these are Coolaboro by Ugg and they're in fantastic condition. They're gray suede, if you see the heel. They've got a chunk heel. And I don't even really, I, I don't think they've been worn outside. It just looks like they've been worn like maybe in the store. Anyway, they're fantastic condition. They smell amazing. So I got these. Okay, I also got these. Okay, I, I've never seen shoes like this and I was so intrigued. So it's kind of like an ankle boot, but kind of like a heel. So they're attached together, so please forgive me. So it's got this ankle strap, which I think is so cute. Look at that. So it's got this ankle strap but yet it's a platform, chunky sole, high heel, suede, really good condition. It is Kenneth Cole, so you know the leather is good. Good, good. And I love the, the, the heel. It's a very good quality heel. And this is a size 11. So I think this should do really, really well because if you look, 
I don't think it's been worn. I mean, it looks brand new. <sighs> okay, there's more. Now, I wish these were my size, but they're not. Unfortunately, this is exactly what I'm looking for. It's a pair of, these are Steve Madden's, but these are a platform chunk sole moto boot laced up, but it has the side zip on the inside. So like, you don't have to go through the trouble of like lacing them up every single time. And again, if you look at the bottom, they're in great condition. Sticker still on, no wear. So they're like, as I drop it, they're like, like new. So this should do really well, probably on Depop, honestly. Looking forward to that. Um, found a pair of on clouds, which new, normally I never find in halfway decent condition. Now they definitely have been worn, right? But they're not like totally total. Every time I see a pair of on clouds or hokas in the thrift store, they've got holes in the bottom. I'm just like, just throw them out. No one's gonna wear them. Anyway, so got these pair of on clouds. These pair of vans, which are also in really good condition. And this is a pretty neutral gray and black, so it's pretty popular. So I picked those up. Vans do pretty well for me. Speaking of vans, I really liked these. Look at these. These are super special. I looked these up and even used, they're like $80. Now, the only thing is that whoever owned them before was in love. And so I'm gonna try to remove this, but otherwise they're in fantastic condition. The insides are great. They've even put these like little beads on the laces down here, which is so cute. So I was really happy with these. And the winter is coming and people like to be outdoors. And these are a pair of Timberland waterproof boots. Um, definitely in great condition. If you see the sole, barely worn. So these, if you buy them retail, are definitely like close to $200. So. I picked these up because they're in great condition. Steve Madden, I wish these were my size. So it's a little Steve Madden sneaker, multicolor. I think it's a size nine. And it's in really good condition, not much wear. So I was happy with these. Another pair of boots. These are, oh, these are the Koh these are Kohan with Nike Air Collabo. And they're kind of like a flat moto boot. If you see, there's like a little bit of rubber sole and then the little accents with the zipper. So these are really cute. If you want like a moto boot, but you don't want a heel with the straps and the buckles, this is really good. And they are in excellent condition. The soles, I mean, there's a couple of pebbles, but they're, the soles are in really good condition. These are a pair of suede mid-calf lace-ups with the little chunk heel, the rugged sole. And these are Stuart Weitzman. And try to see, yeah. So there's like a pebble in here too, but you can easily get that out. So this is Stuart, and then the other one says Weitzman. So these are in great condition. Oh, and being a flight attendant, I always pick up, if I see Clarks that are in like new condition, such as these, I definitely pick them up. So these are an ankle boot, which you can wear ankle boots with pant uniforms. And look at the bottom. I mean, they are in brand new condition. The, Sticker still on, no heel wear. So I definitely grabbed these. Unfortunately, they're not my size or else I would keep them for myself. They're a size eight. Just a couple of more items. All right, these I have stopped picking up children's stuff for the most part. However, I do know this brand from when my daughter was smaller. Oi Lily has expensive children's clothing and shoes. And I just thought that these were so adorable. Okay, can we look how adorable these boots are? They lace up in the back and they've got the floral and the butterfly. There's very little marking. Like, I mean, sh they have been worn, but they're in great condition. These resell for like $30 to $50 used. So this was a good pickup. Another pair of Vans. You see, it's got kind of like a tropical flower vibe and it's blue suede. And they're in great condition. And the last pair. Ta-da! God, that was nonstop. Okay, the last pair of shoes is another pair of platform, chunky lace-up boots. These have like a faux fur 
right in the tongue and also in, in uh, on the top. And these are Nicole Miller. These are so cute. Perfect for the winter. I mean, look at the bottom. Like, almost nowhere. That beeping means my dishes are clean. You've seen everything. How much do you think I spent on all of these items? Let's read the receipts. I have receipts. Let's read the receipts. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So after the 50% and then after the 20%, I paid for everything you see here, including the couple items for me, $117.47. I will probably make that up with two items. So the rest is gonna be pure profit. I am so happy with my haul yesterday. It was great. Let me know what you think. Which was your favorite item? Which was your least favorite item? What has been your best thrift haul find? Or maybe if you just go to thrift stores for your own personal use, what was the best thing you ever found in the thrift store? Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It definitely helps my YouTube channel. If you're thrifting, happy thrifting. And if you're traveling, fly safe. I'll see you soon. Bye.